Hey, how's it going folks? So, uh, just a very quick impromptu video using my phone. So I'm sorry if the uh, if the audio is not so great, but I'm actually driving the Savvy. This is the first time I've taken it on the highway because I went and got something. Yes, I went to visit uh, Reziki Garage in, uh, where was I? Somewhere in Puchong, I think. No, no, Sungai Bulo. Sorry, I was in Sungai Bulo. So, yeah, still within the state of Selangor. And uh, there was a roadblock there getting onto the highway, but they just waved me through. And uh, also getting back on the highway, just now coming back. So anyway, what did I get? Well, without uh, killing myself or going out of control, I don't know if you can see this, but it's the rear spoiler. Yes, it's an R3 rear spoiler, an original R3, R3 rear spoiler that uh, picked up from Reziki Garage. They've already ordered the, uh, I've already ordered the uh, gear knob to make it round, you know, the, the hat that goes on, on the gear knob so that it doesn't look like a flat top. And uh, it's uh, on the way. So fourth gear, yes, I need to uh, overtake, indicate, goes clear. And there, there she goes. I mean, she's up to 120, 130, and she's going, she's still going. So yeah, this is the fastest I've actually uh, driven this car, and she's still stable. Wind noise is still good. I'm up to 135, 140, closing in on 140. And NVH levels are still very, very possible. Brakes are still good because I'm slowing down now, down to 80. Oh, that truck in front of me just... Uh, if you're going to slow down really fast on a highway, turn on your hazard lights, yeah? Which is what I've just done. Suddenly there's a jam here for some reason. Anyway, so yes, I ventured out a little bit further than my comfort zone during CMCO. And it's the first time I've actually taken the car on the highway. The... Um, the digital fuel gauge has not moved despite my best efforts and heavy right foot. The temperature is still at just 3 bar, half, halfway through, no problem. And uh, yes, one of the things you, um, some of you pointed out was that the fuel efficiency of this car is actually quite good. Something uh, in the region of 20 or 21 uh, kilometers per liter, which is uh, very nice, very good, very good. So yes, the gearbox feels a lot better now. Very much easier to engage all the gears and uh, the engine mounts have made a huge, huge difference. So yeah, now it's time to actually um, think about the car's looks. Lots of you have uh, given suggestions and they're very much appreciated. Uh, lots of you think I'm gonna paint the car at RK's place. Lots of you think I'm gonna wrap the car at Bobby Victory. I, you know what, to be honest, I've not, I've not really decided because um, I'm in no rush. Um, you see, one of the things that was wonderful about the saga of the saga was actually doing up the car and uh, the journey, the process, seeing it come back to life. That was, that was one of the best things about uh, the saga of the saga. Now, the saga of this savvy uh, is nearing its completion. I mean, the car is wonderful. I mean, it drives really, really well. asking um, <laughs> okay you know I love manual gearboxes but this one oh. Oh. some of you are were asking why their savvy was not doesn't sound like this and uh, it's because I'm using a holy brand uh, muffler yeah holy meaning there's a hole in it <laughs> really but wow this car and it still handles so well a little bit slow on the uptake because of course it's a it's just a 1.2 but once it gets going once it gets going wow it's nice, it's nice. Of course, the exhaust is a little bit boomy because of, I'm telling you, I just told you there's a hole in it, but uh, oh man, once this car gets going, and you know what? I'm, I'm at 120, 130, just now I was at 140. Oh, I got the king of the road chasing me. I'm not trying to race with you, yellow Myvi. Oh, there. 
but uh, once it gets going, it's it's quick. It's really really quick for a 1.2. I mean, relatively speaking, yeah. And NVH, it's noisy outside, but once the windows are up, still good. And don't forget about this car for 1k, yeah. 1,000 ringgit. Yes, I've spent about 3,000 doing it up, but still it's less than five. And for less than five, you can get something like this, which is so much fun, really frugal, easy to drive. The clutch is not that bad. I mean, in terms of uh, weight, it's not that heavy. It's just, just brilliant. I love it. I love this car. And it's cute. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? Okay. The downfall of this car was, of course, the, uh, the Renault powertrain and uh, smart tech give me a second it didn't okay back again yeah the smart tech the smart tech didn't read wave to the policeman yeah it's a it's a thankless job they're doing I mean they're standing out there in the hot sun like for hours so you know be nice to your policeman yeah be nice to your policeman he's doing his job I mean when trouble, when trouble comes, who's, who are you going to call? You're going to call your policeman. So always wave to them when you're going through a roadblock or when you are, you know, uh, stopped and greet them, greet them like, you know, that sort of thing. So, okay, anyway, I've stopped because I wanted to buy myself a coffee and uh, Sebi Bear is here. He says hi. Hello. Hello. So, very, very happy. As you can see, the... Um, the, uh, oh, I'm going to show it to you actually. Give me a second. It's not moved. My fuel gauge has not moved. Okay, granted I've only done 70 kilometers, but they've been hard kilometers because I've been uh, shaking down this car. Aircon is still really nice and cold. And yeah, so really, really nice. I don't know what else to say. And like I said, it's nearing the end. It's nearing the end of the uh, of the uh, restoration process, which is kind of sad because I've really enjoyed doing up this car. the The compressor does make a bit of sound, so I'm going to get that checked out. When it kicks in, it, it goes crunk, and then, well, yeah, you just heard it. So maybe the compressor is old, but apart from that, wow, folks, you know what? This is a damn good buy, really, a really good goodbye and but it's not goodbye yet there's still more to come so stay tuned just wanted to give you a quick update on the first highway drive oh since i've stopped i can show you the uh the uh, spoiler the the roof spoiler check that out it's so cool and look at what it says on the side can you see that yeah okay i didn't know it was an r3 because I, I called up Rezeki Garage and said, do you have a, um, an original uh, roof spoiler for a Proton Savvy? And they said, yeah, come over and get it. And it was a hundred bucks. And you know what? It just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. And it's good to go. Good to go. Yep. So 100 bucks well spent. Nice rear spoiler at the back. And uh, I don't, it's not very heavy. It's got some weight to it, but it's not very, very heavy. So it's going to give a little bit of uh, downforce at the back. You know, I never believed in spoilers and, and anything until I checked out this video of a Civic Type R. Go and, go and look for it on uh, YouTube. Civic Type R with and without spoiler, rear spoiler. And uh, what happens, it's not it's not the Type R that we know, it's the hatchback variant, the older one. And uh, yeah, a Japanese guy driving, who you know, I can't remember who it was, but first he took the car out with the spoiler at the back and he set a lap time. And then they went back straight into the pits, took off the spoiler and he went out again. And if I'm not mistaken, during, well, during the drive, he was saying there's something, this car feels really wrong. There's something's wrong with this guy. It doesn't feel right. This was without the spoiler. And in one of the corners, he spun out at the same speed that he was doing earlier with the spoiler. He didn't, he didn't spin out and this time he spun out. So there is, there are some merits to having a, a rear spoiler at the back there. So, you know, to each their own, if you don't like it, don't do it and I'm not saying you must but there are some merits to it so anyway that's it just wanted to say hello and uh, see how you're all doing so happy with this car brilliant stay tuned lots more to come thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon and thank you for the 19,000 subscribers you guys are awesome thank you so much Mwah. you are the best eh? <laughs>
Take care. Bye-bye.